Good morning, friends. Welcome to Jess Kelly. I'm Kelly. Come on in. If you are returning, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. And if you're brand new, oh my goodness, thank you so much for tuning in. Come on in. Take a seat. Um, today is August 1st. And we are starting this little mini challenge of doing um, a diamond painting a day. You can see I already started on this, um, but we're going to finish it up, uh, get it out, get it out of the way. And so this is August first, day one of a diamond painting a day and so right now these are just regular um, like 310 um, drills that are going these are uh, coasters <laughs> actually I bought four sets of these coasters of eight so I actually have 32 of these um, which I could very easily do what a day and, and still not complete them all for this, for, <coughs> excuse me, for this month. Um, yeah, so my allergies are kicking up and, and so, um, please, uh, forgive any snip, sniffling or coughing, uh, uh an occasional um, have to stop to scratch eyes. Chloe, please. Uh, hang on, let me put her down. I come up here and start talking, and so she comes up here and wants to start eating my, my wax pencil. So, um, yeah, I'm using a wax pencil, and... Um, on these special on these special drills and i forgot everything that i was saying before because got interrupted um uh so yeah i started these i have 32 of these <laughs> don't worry i'm not going to do each one of these a day because i think that would get to be very boring and monotonous because there's there's four of them that look like this and you know there's eight all together so there's eight different ones and um anyways i have lots and lots of little projects all kitted up so I had ordered these to give out to uh, daughter's daughter-in-law for Mother's Day. And um, I just, it they came, I forget when I got these. Um, it, was, it was either a few days before or a few days after Mother's Day. Um... And I got uh, these coasters. I got them all sunglass kits um, or glass, you know, kits. I got them all, um, you know, little plaques that say Happy Mother's Day. Anyways, what I ended up doing was just. Oh, and I got them all earrings as well and bags with their initials on it. And so what I ended up actually doing was just the plaques. <laughs> so I have all these others. I don't know whether I will use them for Christmas or save them for next Mother's Day. Um, I don't know, but they, they really are very cute, don't you think? <laughs> Anyways, I was going to do a mix and match because I got each of the girls, 
um, coasters that go along with, you know, their own personality, their own likes and, and, um, like that. And then I was going to give them those and give them a mixture of these put together. Yeah, so um, this won't take me very long at all, and this will be the finish of day one. And so I plan on doing something like this every day for the month of August, and anyone who is interested in joining me is more than welcome to do so. Um, I will try to see if I can figure out how to um, get my Facebook community up and going. And that if there is anybody who is taking on this challenge with me, had a little hitchhiker there, um, can post post their goodies. And then maybe at the end of the month, we will have a drawing of all those that uh, completed the challenge. That might be fun. can't have a little event without having um, you know uh, a reward for at the end right Yeah, so we'll put together a little uh, care box at the end. That'll be fun, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I can you guys see Mango? He's up here and... He's not exactly sure what he is doing yet. There's that. Let's put these these back in. Okay, that's way too much in there. Oh. Oh. 
but we'll 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 see what we can what we can do here. <laughs> so I can't go through August without thinking about my grandma. This is her birthday month. A wonderful, wonderful, wonderful lady who had an incredibly interesting, interesting life. Grew up on a farm in Missouri. Eight brothers and sisters. I think she only had... I knew of Uncle Jack, but I think there was an, maybe one other brother, but I think the rest were all girls, six girls and two boys. And um, yeah, they grew up on a farm in Missouri. And uh, Oh, she used to tell me stories about her and her siblings. She was somewhere in the middle. She was, you know, one of the middles. <laughs> and um, tell me stories of, you know, arguments or fights or mischief things that they used to get into on the on the farm and well, I'm not sure but they one day packed up a wagon and headed out to California or yeah um Which most of her siblings lived back in, in Missouri, but she came on out here and she definitely was the matriarch of our family. Our family revolved around her. She was so special and so loved. And then after she passed, family just kind of disintegrated, broke off into, you know, their own Uh, families. So, yeah, I have lots of uh, cousins who live out here that I don't even know about or uh, don't know what they've been up to or have don't know how to get in contact with them. And anyways, but such is life. And, oh, for those of you who may not have heard, I am going to be a grandma again. Jessica is pregnant, and boy, is she pregnant. 
she's supposed to be uh, in her fourth month, but she, she looks big. She looks big. I doubt that she will make it to January. But we will see. She's having a little boy. Boys have always tend to run in my family. We have had lots and lots of boys. Uh, me growing up, there was only me and, and one other cousin that were girls. The rest were all boys. Um, I had uh, two aunts. One aunt had three boys. The other aunt had three boys and one girl. And then my mom had one girl and two boys. So, have any of you been following the drama on the assassination attempt? I have been, like, just oh, so, so glued to it. But I got to tell you, I'm getting a bit frustrated with it all. Um, for one, there has been, okay, so back in, um, I went to a bush rally, um, way back when I was in. Uh, nursing school at the University of Missouri. He came to the campus and you couldn't even cross the part of the camp, camp campus that they were setting up for him. You couldn't even cross. There were, you know, Secret Service all over the place. She couldn't even walk across the grass while they were setting up. There were no um, metal detectors back then. But there were lots and lots of Secret Service. I went with a friend of mine uh, to the to this event and him being a fair skinned Irishman <laughs> um, it was a it was a sunny day very very sunny <laughs> he was wearing a, he put on a jacket keep his arms covered and he put up the back he put up the collar in the back to keep his neck from burning and then you know so we were just standing there listening to George W And um, he had his, I guess, his, he had his hands in his pockets. 
Oh my gosh. All of a sudden, we're just listening. All of a sudden, we are surrounded by Secret Service. They, it was like a flash flood that they came up upon us and just completely, well, surrounded him, not me. Me, I got shoved out of the way. Like I was stand, we I we were standing like, well, not shoulder to shoulder, but arm to arm, because <laughs> he is super tall, and I was super short, <laughs> standing there arm to arm, and without warning, didn't know anything, no questioning or nothing, just completely surrounded by Secret Service. I was shoved out of the way. I mean, really abruptly. And these guys are huge. These guys are big. And, you know, they're just huge. I was shoved out of the way. I didn't fall to the ground or anything, but it was, it was an abrupt shove. And my friend was surrounded on all sides. I don't know, four, five, six Secret Service guys just pounced on him like, oh, like he was uh, uh, Lee Harvey Oswald or this crook guy, if they had done it right. And they removed him. They removed him from the area that the president was speaking. They took him and he was placed in a cage. I guess they questioned him first. And then he was he was interrogated. And, bef and I guess searched, and after they were satisfied he was not a threat, he was released to a cage. And it was, a, it was an area that was um, a large chain-linked uh, fencing area that they had put up. And he was in there with other, um, he was in there, I guess, with, it looked to me like <laughs> Democrats. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing about it because at the time I thought it was, I thought it was hilarious. Of course, he was, it scared the bejeebas out of him, you know, these big, huge guys with guns and, you know, take, hauling him off. I mean, he didn't even, he didn't even, no rights, no nothing. They just surrounded him, grabbed him, and hauled him away. It was that fast. Oh, that one lost it. That's what should have been done. They saw this guy on the roof. They knew he was up there. When they saw him, they, oh, this stuff. Oh, well, a backpack isn't against the law or a range finder isn't against the law. It was suspicious activity. If you're not allowed to bring in backpacks, then anybody with a backpack, you know, w would have been apprehended, put in a cage until after the event. Like they did at my event that I went to. So, it was, you know, mm, I don't know. What's going on? But 
it don't smell right to me, guys. It just don't smell right. Anyways, I thought that was funny and I hadn't thought about that for a long time until, you know, this had happened. And I thought, my goodness, now they're coming out and they're saying, oh, Trump staged the whole thing. And that his ear wasn't really injured. That it was like a staged blood pill or something. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Um, his um, ear did <laughs> miraculously heal in two weeks and it's hard to see you know because he usually has hair covering the top of his ear but it looks you know like it was never like it was never hit no scars no missing piece of cartilage you know from the from the ear there so i'm not exactly sure um, how I feel about all this, what's coming down, I'm just very, very suspicious of it all. So I'm starting a new Bible study on faith. And it's a it's a it's a big one. I got it um for Mother's Day. My daughter in law Christina had given it to me and I just um it looks it, it looks like a very, very good study. I've never done, you know, uh, individual studies like this out of out of a, a a book. I mean, I I have with you know in my church what my pastor has, you know, given us to do. Um, but you know, never like a, a booklet like this. So I thought I would do that. I mean, I have a lot of different um, studies um, that I have to, to choose from. And I thought that I would get back into, although I do want to, I think I'm um, pretty uh, settled in um, a 
I've been looking at different um, Bibles, and I wanted a study Bible. But I wanted it like filament or that it had an online app because I want a journaling Bible that has, you know, the wide, wide margins, kind of like what my art Bible does. to do the study on. Here, we almost got this top part of this heart done. And I'm trying to think. I, I haven't even looked at. I have lots and lots of different um, uh, small items like this already. Get it up. I have that um, art dot. Um, it's a four drawer set. And so um, the bottom drawer, I have a bunch of um, kits. You know, small kits like, like this in there. And then the other drawers I have them all kitted up, so they're all ready to go. All I have to do is reach into that bottom drawer, pull one out, and bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> it would be all done. Just choose one. I think this is turning out quite pretty for only three colors. I mean, sometimes um, less is best.
so it's going to start getting it's August. Now, where I live, I know a lot of people, August is their hottest month. But for us, it's always been, you know, September is the hottest month. My grandson has a birthday um, in September. He loves to fish too, like my youngest son. So I have a fishing. In fact, it is the same canvas that I gave him for Christmas that he hasn't done. So I think I will take that out next month and have that and uh, work on that. His birthday is the 23rd of September. I'll probably take that out, get that kitted up. So I'll be doing lots of um, fish with my koi and his diamond painting. Two of them in there. Get my tweezers here because that one needs to go over a bit. Oh, the wax. Got some extra wax there. My chickens have not been laying. Ah, <sighs> this has been one hot summer. And um, they don't lay as well in the summer when it's super hot. Unless they found a new place to lay, <laughs> which they might all be underneath. Remember I told you about that bush? Maybe I should look under there. I bet you there's a bunch of eggs in there. Ooh. Bunch of rotten eggs. <laughs> Last year I got so many eggs. Um, I, um, ended up, uh, freezing them. Not the whole egg. What I did was I, you know, I cracked open the egg, kind of scrambled it up and I put it in a, um, a muffin pan. With a silicone, you know, silicone um, cupcake um, thing. You know, a, a cup thing that you put uh, in your muffin pans, a little silicone thing. Anyway, so I did that. And then I, I froze them. And then after they were frozen, then I took them out of the muffin, the silicone cup. And, you know, put them into uh, freezer bags. So I, I have like a hundred frozen eggs. Um, that are good, you know, for scrambled eggs or baking.
Look at Mr. Mango, so sweet. So sweet. The tip of my wax pen is kind of flattened out, so I'm tending to grab more than what I need here. But that's all right. It'll work. It'll work. I'll be good. My granddaughter uh, works for um, United States um, Forest Service and um, so of course they are on high alert with all the fires so she hasn't been transferred out to work on any of the fires as of you know as of yet but she could go anytime um she wants to go <laughs> she wants to go She's just a little thing, but she is brave. So, so brave. My other grandson is waiting for uh, opportunity to apply for, I guess, either sheriff or police department. I'm not sure. And then um, my middle grandson He's the one who's never really interested in, uh, he's a big gamer and he was never really interested in getting his driver's license, but that has changed. So now he wants to get his driver's license and get himself a car. So that's exciting. They're all wonderful, wonderful kids. Almost done here, guys. Day one, almost done. I need to do some major grocery shopping, but I don't want to just, you know, buy stuff to buy stuff. I want to um, figure out, you know, what I want to, to make and, um,
yeah pick out a, a recipe and then because it's just me I can just do a um, you know a recipe of four and and have one for uh, dinner and and with some leftovers for the next night and then have um, three others in the fridge I mean in the freezer so I want to do that so I just need to go through my uh, recipes um, and kind of decide um, think about what I you know some of my favorite things that I wouldn't like the last time I did this um, and it's okay doing some recipes that are oh, doesn't want to get in there okay let me get my tweezers that is stuck on my wax pencil embedded let's see now that I've loosened it can I get it in there it's upside down now okay And there we have it. Day one. Day one, mini diamond paintings a day. I had taped it down so it would stay in, right in frame. So there we have it. That is very, very pretty. All I have to do is seal it. Of course, I'll seal them more toward the the end of the month. Get in there. Whoops. There we go. And there we have it. Day one. Mama. Mama's love. sure that they're all in there nice and flat okay thank you so much for stopping by and joining me on this uh, diamond painting a day challenge uh, please come back tomorrow we'll have another one it won't be the same I'm gonna try to you know change them up a bit although I do have 32 of these guys to get done <laughs> anyways please uh, come back tomorrow hey guys there is a subscribe button a bell notification uh, if you want to make sure that you see my next video please hit that subscribe and that bell and give me a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it. Um, my numbers have gone down lately. <laughs> are kind of sat right where they are. So I would appreciate it. It would really help me out in getting my videos out to others. Um, and um, yeah, welcome, welcome. But until next time, stay cool, stay hydrated, and most of all, God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye now. Mwah.